Hey everybody, welcome to the linuxhint.com and today we are just going to discuss that how can we install Minikube and um, in addition to that we are just going to deploy, uh, we are going to take a look at the deployment, we are going to deploy services, parts, how to create them uh, and how to delete them, okay? So uh, let's start. But before we start, I am assuming that you have the understanding of Kubernetes and you know how it works. So Minikube is a sort of a Kubernetes cluster running on your machine. And there is another thing that you need to have a virtual machine installed on your system. So the thing is if you're already using a virtual machine to run your Linux operating system, then this thing probably is not going to work because you cannot install or run a virtual mach machine inside a virtual machine, okay? So I know because I was using uh, previously a virtual machine to run my Linux operating system, but I figured it out that you have to install uh, your operating system separately on your machine in order uh, for this thing to work, okay? So uh, you have to have a virtual machine installed for this, okay? So you can, you just can do that by simply uh, typing in the Google uh, virtual box and you will install the latest version of virtual box, okay? I have already installed it. So today we have two installations. One is Minikube and the other one is uh, Cube Control, okay? Uh, so let's start. So first of all, you need to go to the Google and write here Minikube. Once you write Minikube here, uh, we we are going to need two links from here okay so the first one uh, this this link I will open it up we're just going to click it the second link and then um, from here we are going to need the installation part okay and from the second link the github link we are going to need uh, this command here for installation of minikube uh, for Mac OS you you can use this command but for Linux you have to use this CRL command, okay? You just copy it simply, okay? And you go here and you control Alt T. You press Control Alt T and you will open up your terminal. You just simply paste it right here, that command that we have copied from there, and we hit enter. If you are installing this command for the first time, it is going to tell you that you need to install the CRL command. So um, how do you do that? You just simply write um, sudo apt install um, and then you write url hit enter and it will install that okay so it is asking me for the password i enter the password and i'm done installing minikube okay so it has taken less time uh, but perhaps when you're going to install for the first time it is going to take uh, more time okay so the next thing we are going to do that we have installed our minikube so i'm going to start the minikube okay so from here from the installation the quick installation uh, we are going to use this flag from here the vm driver okay so you can use other drivers as well but uh, i have installed the virtual box so i'm going to use this okay so i have copied this driver i'll go back to the uh, i have copied this flag i'll go back to here i'll paste it and i will write here virtual box so right now you can see I have my uh, virtual box and right here there is no machine running so I'm starting my VM so hopefully the minikube yes minikube has uh, started running here right now it is powered off but yes it has started running now so it will take some time because it is running for the first time uh, but as you know as you have installed it and as you run it again and again over and over again it will obviously take less time so right now I'm installing it for the first time so it is going to take some time so I fast forward this video from here okay so now you can see that uh, our minikube is running on our virtual machine uh, so the next part is to install the cube control okay so for that um, we can go back to the uh, link that we have opened in our github and we, uh, we uh, if you go down if you go down uh, you will see that Linux continuous integration without uh, VM support 
so in the in in here it has given an example but we have gone with the virtual machine we have gone with the virtual box but uh, so we are not going to follow all of uh, these steps we just need this simple command from here uh, which we are going to copy okay so this is the second command that we are going to need okay so uh, all of that code this has to do nothing with us okay with our procedure so we are just going to take this simple command from here you can say we're just copying this command this single command from here okay so we copy it remember this is the second command from here that we are copying we go back to our terminal and we uh, sort of paste it right here we hit enter and the cube control is going to be installed shortly so once it is installed we are going to uh you know check it that if the cube control is installed by pressing cube control space hyphen hyphen help so you press that you know that your cube control is installed so once we install once we install it um then we can go back to the uh, mini cube dashboard in fact we we have not opened it so i we cannot say that we we, we can go back we can open it okay the mini cube so um, we write here mini cube sorry before that we need to before opening up the dashboard of the mini cube we go to cube control hyphen hyphen help okay so right here you can see that this the, these are the uh, commands that you can do uh, create expose run set so these are all the commands that these are all the help resources that you can use um, so right now uh, we are going to open up the mini cube dashboard uh, it is going to open it up on your default default browser whatever it is so you hit enter and here it is it has opened it opened it up for us so I like to go with the default sort of things uh, so I'd like to keep it this way but uh, you can go to the cube public and the cube system um, according to your need or desire okay so I would like to keep the namespace as default so once you have done that now um, I have already created uh, one I guess uh, uh, service and one pod named as okay there is no pod i guess i have deleted that okay so right now you can see there is no pod and there is just one service okay so uh, i think the service that i created previously it was named as server so right now we are going to name it something um, different okay so let's start uh, go back to the terminal here and let me just clear it for you and right now we are going to write our first command and that is cube control run and then uh, the name of your uh, server whatever you want to give so I would like to give here Linux hint server okay then it Linux hint server uh, I would like to create the image okay image equals and as I have discussed earlier maybe I have told you or not that we're going to use the nginx okay nginx I think I didn't uh, tell you in this video right I was actually um, trying to record the previous previous video uh, in which I mentioned it but uh, the, in this video I think I have not mentioned it okay so um, nginx alpine uh, I hit enter and hopefully it creates the nginx image for us so yes it, it says that it has been created so as a next step we are just going to uh, check our deployments so we write here cube control uh, get deployments okay we hit enter and you can see that uh, Linux in server is our number one uh, deployment it and uh, number one and the only deployment that we have done so um, it, it is not available yet we cannot really access it uh, it its age is almost you know uh, 30 seconds now approximately um, so the next step that we are going to do is that we are going to 
uh, get the parts so we are going to write here cube control get parts so we hit enter you can see that we have one pod available its age is approximately 50 seconds and uh, it's not ready yet it's there but we cannot access it because we have not created any service yet okay so in order to access the pod you have to have a service so in order to create service we are just going to write here cube control um, expose deployment so hit enter and but no name uh, label selector or all flags okay yes we need to um, give it a name okay so we write here cube control expose deployment and we give it a name here which is gonna be like um, Linux hint server yes Linux hint server and then we are going to uh, mention the type type is going to be equal to load balancer because we want uh, the load to be balanced on uh, the deployment so this will uh, this type will help doing that so then we can uh, simply write here port port number is going to be let's say 80 we hit enter I think this uh, th there is a spell mistake right I got it I got it so it's load balancer right here somewhere yes load balancer okay now hopefully it is going to work so I hit enter and yes the service has been exposed sometime it happens that uh, you miss some sort of uh, you know uh, there is a spell mistake or there is some sort of little mistake but you can't see it because you are you have been coding for a while and you have been working for the last maybe 10 to 12 hours so uh, these sort of things are usual it happens okay so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to get the services okay get services and you can see that we have uh, basically this service running up okay so we have uh, uh, these are the services that we have in our arsenal um, so th this is the required or the service that we have created okay this is the our required service that we wanted to see okay so uh, once it is done we just want to simply get the URL so we can um, we can take a look at the images right the image that we have created of nginx okay so uh, it is going to be uh, the URL that is going, going to take us to that image that we have created for nginx so right now we are going to write here mini cube okay mini cube service sir uh, and then the Linux hint server um, and then we are going to write here URL we hit enter uh, did you mean this service uh, oh yes I, again I, I did a spelling mistake I'm so sorry uh, I apologize for that so uh, again I'm going to write mini cube service okay service uh, Linux Linux hint server URL okay you hit enter oh my goodness there is a spell mistake because you know okay this time I'm gonna make sure there isn't any spell mistake URL we hit enter and finally we got this link so I'm just gonna copy this link and we're going to go to the browser and I'm just going to paste it right so this is the nginx image that we have you can have here anything like you can use you can create any other image you may create your node.js file you may create your uh, HTML files I mean whatever the application that you're going to deploy whatever the image you're going to deploy here uh, it is going to show up okay so uh, let's go back to the uh, 
mini cube dashboard and here you can see if we go back to the parts you can see we have a Linux hint server pod here okay so it's running and it was created six minutes ago and if we go to the services hopefully uh, last time when we visited you uh, you could have seen here there was no service but right now here is the Linux hint ser service right so um, let's say if you want to delete um, any of the service so how do you do that you go to your terminal and uh, let me clear all of that so right here um, cube control delete service Linux hint server you hit enter and it deletes the service okay okay once you have deleted the service now you can check cube control um, get services okay so now you can see uh, there is only Kubernetes cluster IP. The second service, the Linux hint server uh, service is gone from here. So if you remember getting it previously in the same video, in this video, when we previously written the same command, we have written the same command previously, and then you can see that there was two services, the additional service that we created, the Linux hint server service. So that is now has been deleted, okay? So in this way, you can delete it so in today's video we have seen that how to install minikube um, you know cube control and we have seen that how can we deploy pod services and how, how we can delete it uh, and how we can create the image of anything the deployment of any uh, application that we have seen the image we have deployed of nginx okay so i hope you have enjoyed today's video you have learned something new if you want to read the written articles uh, you can go to our website. You can always go and check out our website linuxin.com um, If you like the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching